Stocking up on toilet paper isn't the only thing people are saving. Our Eyewitness News reporter Jen Selig spoke with a local liquor store to hear how this pandemic is affecting business. Constantly cleaning down those countertops. Because business is booming at some of the local liquor stores. Bottles off the shelves to be popped later at home. Happy hour may vary in the household, but Greg Garia, co owner of Seneca Wine and Liquor, tells me this is becoming a little draining. We can't wait to get back to normal. Nobody wants to have, you know, extra business during this. I mean, believe me, we can't wait till everybody's back in business. Right now, many customers are buying in bulk. Instead of buying one box, box one, they're buying two. Instead of buying four bottles of wine, they're buying a case. That's because customers fear that their favorite bottles will go out of stock. The shortage of box wine, because people are buying it for months in advance, thinking that, you know, because box wine could keep. And there are some products that are out right at the uh, distributors because the distributors are just like a store. They buy for so far out, and we were having holiday sales that they weren't really expecting. According to a recent study, hard liquor sales went up 55% nationwide in the third week of March, comparing to this time last year. And including online sales, that's not necessarily the same case here locally. Probably had you know, big spike in the beginning, and now we're probably back to normal. Practicing social distancing, a lot of customers are ordering their bottles online. Online sales are much higher than they've ever been, probably tenfold. Uh, curbside pickup is huge, and we do offer $6 uh, in city delivery. But those who are buying at the store, employees are taking extra precautions. I mean, everyone's wearing gloves. We've provided masks to every employee. We have plexiglass up at the uh, counters. Um, we are cleaning constantly as you can smell the disinfectant in the store. Instead of having 16 employees, we're working around eight right now. Less hours. We only open till eight every day, five on Sunday, so that's helping with the employee shortage. Garia says he's excited for businesses to open, for customers to toast at the bars instead of doing it quarantine style. We can't wait to the Killer Brew to be open. We can't wait to one Jenny to be open. We can't wait to all the restaurants. Bars are open, believe us. In New Hartford, Jen Selig, Eyewitness News.